uh, requirements or conditions? Uh, yes. All right, uh, ready, uh, Larry? I'm ready, we're recording. Okay. This Wheatfield Town Board meeting of December 7th, 2020 is being held remotely and by, by <laughs> electronic video conference via Zoom video conference service due to the COVID-19 emergency situation. On March 13th, 2020, Governor Cuomo issued executive order 202.1 in an effort to address the conflict between the requirements of the open meetings law and the governor's emergency orders limiting public gatherings. Specifically, executive order number 202.1 suspends article seven of the public officer's law, also known as the open meetings law, to the extent necessary to permit any public body to meet and take such actions as authorized by law without allowing the public to be physically present at the meeting. The order also authorized public bodies to meet remotely by conference call or other similar service. If a public body restricts access to its meetings or conducts a meeting remotely by conference call or other such similar service, the public body must provide the public the ability to view or listen to such meetings and must record and later transcribe such meetings. This meeting is being conducted pursuant to said orders. Public comment period shall be suspended for this meeting as it is not required by law and there is no public scheduled public hearing and technically difficult based on the circumstances. The town will accept questions, comments, and input via email and or regular mail and will be answered directly by the appropriate town personnel as soon as possible. Regular town meeting <laughs> format in person with public comment will return as soon as the emergency conditions resolve. Uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, Larry has a brief statement. I don't know if you would go ahead. Yes, please. Uh, I'd like to dedicate uh, tonight's meeting in memory of Ken, or Kenny Retzloff, who passed away right before Thanksgiving. And if we could have a moment of silence. Absolutely. Amen. Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it. Uh, let's move on with our welcome to our December 7th meeting. Uh, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America and to the Republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, 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 under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reminds me of the way my family sings happy birthday. Not quite in tune. <laughs> anyway, um, Kathy, you would do the opening prayer, please. Heavenly Father, we pray that you grant wisdom to all who are in authority, that order and justice may be upheld to the benefit of all citizens, and guide us to better serve the people of our community. Restrain those who seek to destroy our government. We ask your divine wisdom to rest upon our leaders, to guide them and protect them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kathy. Approval, approval of the minutes. Of, of, all members are present, by the way, even via Zoom. Uh, approval of the minutes, please. November 16th, 2020. Could I have a motion, please? No motion. Who was it? And a second. Who, was, who made the motion, please? I did, Randy. Randy? Can I have a second? Second. I'll second, Kurt. Okay, Kurt has a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, aye. Oh, motion carried. Approval of bill payment December 7th, 2020. Voucher number 2020-046 through 2020-02166, a total amount of $660,000, $660,104.92. Can I have a motion, please? So move. Second. We got a motion and second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, we'll go right to department heads. Paul Siegman gave me his report tonight. Um, leaf and brush pickup is done for the season. Winter parking rules will take effect immediately. Uh, Paul noticed last week when he had plows out that, in fact, uh, there is pe people parking out on the road all night long. This typically the same people that did it last year. Uh, he contacted uh, Bob Connery today and they are going to start issuing uh, tickets uh, soon. Uh, Christmas trees can be dropped off at the highway garage after Christmas for chipping. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, everybody gets that message out. And that's Paul's report. 
Uh, Richie Donner, I don't believe will be on tonight because uh, he was with his dad today. His dad's receiving some treatments. Mike Rinaldi had no report. Mike, I see you're on board. Any comments tonight, Mike? Mike, you're muted. Hang on a second. Let me see. Yeah. Can you hear me, Larry? Yeah, you're ready now, Mike. Okay, thank you. Um, other than what we talked during the department head meeting, you know, just uh, we're staying in the course as far as keeping up with our things, uh, keeping the building secure, and um, we're just trying to be safe out there ourselves. Okay. Anything else, Mike? <laughs> Nothing new than other than that, sir. Okay, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. Uh, Kelly's not with us tonight. And the seniors, of course, and Tim Zuber, what do you have for us tonight? <laughs> I have nothing for you tonight. Okay. Just here to participate if I'm needed. Okay, thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to go right to motions, but I just want to mention to everybody, uh, not as part of my report, but we did meet with the department heads this morning to discuss the COVID-19 and the status in Niagara County right now, which is not good. Uh, just to reinforce what our rules are in the town of Wheatfield, I've encouraged anybody that has time off to take it between Christmas and New Year's because it's possibly gonna be another hot spot, uh, just as it was with Thanksgiving. So um, we did talk to all the department heads, encourage them to use their time beginning to stagger some shifts possibly to take their breaks at separate times to keep distance apart because I think everybody's aware the town of Lewiston is literally shut down with COVID-19. Their town hall is closed and there's many cases of COVID in the town hall. So we've been very fortunate but we've also been very careful and, and I guess my message to uh, all of our department heads and all of our employees today we have to continue with what we're doing and be uh, extremely cautious and, and I think we're doing a good job. So that was my uh, discussion with this morning. Um, Matt, if you would go ahead with the motions, please. Uh, yes, thank you, Don. Uh, first motion from the town board to authorize the town clerk to publish in the town newspaper of record the 2021 notice of vacancies for the town of Wheatfield position to notify the public of potentially vacancies in the annual appointed positions for the following. Town historian, Assessment Board of Review, Planning Board, Grant Writer, Town Attorney, Senior Leader, Zoning Board of Appeals, Bingo Inspector, Town Prosecutor, Town Engineer. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Go ahead, Matt. Um, next motion from the town board, town attorney, and Wendell engineers. And I'll just paraphrase sections of it because it's lengthy. Uh, whereas the town of Wheatfield regulates land use through various sections of the code of the town of Wheatfield, and whereas the town of Wheatfield does have regulations for the installation of ground mounted solar panels and solar arrays and farms, and whereas the town of Wheatfield, Wendell engineers have observed changes in the solar industry and the laws regulating solar installations and begun review of various possible amendments to the existing regulations to address these issues. And whereas the town needs time to revise and update these regulations with Wendell engineers are recommending that the town adopt a moratorium while these codes are being developed, revised and updated. And whereas the town has introduced a proposed local law entitled amendment to the code of the town of Wheatfield placing a six month moratorium on ground mounted solar panel farm installations within the town and presented a copy to each member of the board. And whereas the town board of the town of Wheatfield, New York would like to adopt a local law entitled amendment to the code of the town of Wheatfield placing a six month moratorium on ground mounted solar panels and solar farm installations within the town. And then I'll paraphrase uh, or I'll get to the end. And it's resolved that the town of Wheatfield Town Board sets the required public hearing on this proposed local law for January 25th, 2021 at 7 p.m. in the Wheatfield Town Hall or via electronic means to be determined the COVID-19 pandemic requires and to receive public comment and be a further resolved the Town Board authorized the completion of the required referral to the Niagara County and they have determined that this action is a type two action under secret or not requiring a secret determination. Thank you. Before we put up the motion, uh, I, I there's more to it than 
If we want to reevaluate our, our agricultural property and the uses, we're also looking at doing a uh, community host agreement with uh, solar applic applicants. But I think we all realize <laughs> that it's probably going to be the, um, uh, a lot of this is going to be regulated by New York State. And we're just trying to um, make sure that our law is sufficient and appropriate for the town of Wheatfield. Uh, so that's all. But anyway, can I have a motion, please? So move. Second. I have a motion from Randy. Who was the second? Kurt. Kurt. Okay. Motion to second. All in favor signify. Hey, that's a question, Dan. Question. Yeah. Yes. So it's six months. The six month time clock, does that start on today, December 7th? No, it'll start um, at the public hearing, I would assume. It, the law, not... Actually, the law would take effect when it's filed with the uh, Secretary of State. So that would be shortly after it's adopted by the town board. Um, which I assume would be sometime in January after the public hearing if we do it that evening. Also, it is retroactive um, to um, the date uh, today, the day that we schedule the, the public hearing. So in effect, um, the moratorium is a little bit longer. It's from now, December 7th, when we introduce it until six months from when the local law is filed, if it does get filed. So we, we have almost eight months if we take it to the length. Uh, correct. I mean, because we do actually put a block on it effective today. Okay. The if, other if thing. If local law gets passed. If the local law doesn't get passed, well, everything is, is, is for naught. And the other thing we want to make sure that anyone has applied at this time, uh, we cannot stop those applications. We have to still follow through with those that have been submitted already. But I, I believe our law right now as a state is. 10% of the total acreage, right? Um, you know, offhand, Randy, I don't know. I believe that's what it is, but where, where the, like, lock for road got a lot bigger was they got a special use permit. That's well, where it, it I jumped think 10% to way, you know, probably almost 50%. The, the utility the utility scale ones, Randy, all have to have special use permits. So those those have bigger coverages. I, I understand what I'm saying is that our, our, our law that we have but they, they got above and beyond by going getting a special use permit is what I'm, what I'm saying. Uh, I, well, I know we can talk about it as we're going through this, but I, I, I don't think the utility scale ones are allowed period without a special use permit. There's still, there's separate coverages that they have to follow under the special use permits. I understand that. That's what I'm saying. They would have only been allowed 10%, but by getting a special use permit, that's where we got much larger is what I'm saying. But anyhow, we'll talk about it at the public hearing. Okay. Thank did you. We, uh, did we put that to a motion? Do we follow through? We don't have it out yet. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. Who made the motion, by the way? Randy? I did. Randy and Kurt. Okay. Okay, Matt. Um, next motion uh, from the town supervisor's office to establish the 2021 town board meeting and holiday schedule. And those are as presented in the uh, motion package. No motion, please. So move. So move. Second. second. Motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, next motion um, is from the town board to authorize and request the installation of a street light by National Grid at the corner of Nash Road and Selena Court. Said street light is necessitated by being on the corner of Nash with Selena Court being the entrance to a new subdivision. Said street light will be requested of National Grid to be equip equipped with an LED light. I'll make a move. A second on the question. Yeah. Uh, we said that new subdivisions, the developers had to pay for signs and street lights. That's the exception I, of we always pay for um, the intersections and the curves. That's that's our anything that's in the subdivision they would pay for. It. Well, no, this, we, this, this, we 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 did change that recently, but but this subdivision was built before we changed that, Larry. Oh, okay, that's what that's what so, I thought. But I wasn't. So new ones, they have to put them at the intersections and curves and and everywhere. It's okay. all on the development. But, uh, th this one is um, the light is at the corner of existing uh, Nash Road um, and where the subdivision comes out. 
there are no lights, uh, at least at this point, planned inside the subdivision. I know there was a request by a resident and uh, he was informed, well, that's uh, then the development would need to establish the lighting district and, and that um, stopped his request there, but it was still also for the corner with Nash, which is, um, um, as, as, as um, Tim said, it's before, this is a pre-existing and also this is on the corner with an existing road. But just, just a point of clarification, if this subdivision was approved after our local law for signs and streetlights and that, they would have, the developer would have been responsible to put that light on that in, intersection, correct, Tim? That's my understanding, yes. So for, for Brook, Brookfield, that developer is gonna be putting the one out by the corner and at the intersections and on the curves and establishing a lighting district for that. Okay. Yeah, and in fact, I think the uh, developer from Brookfield has already contacted me with questions about a lighting district, and they're aware of that. Great. Matt, I don't know if it needs to be added to the motion here, but we should make sure that it's a 48-watt LED. Um, we could. I mean, I think that once the resolution's passed, Debbie typically contacts National Grid to order it, so... Um, if you want to put that, I, I mean, if, if that's what the board wants, that, that wantage, that, that might as well go in the resolution. I'll, I'll update my second to that motion for 48 watt. Maybe we have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Go ahead, Matt. Um, next motion comes from the clerk's office to authorize the increase in town clerk fees collected within the town of Wheatfield. The amended fees are as follows. A dog license, uh, spayed and neutered, goes from $6 a year to $10 a year. Not spayed or neutered goes from 14 a year to $20 a year. And a peddler's permit is increased from $50 a year to $100 a year. And this revised fee schedule shall take effect January 1st, 2021. Motion, please. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Next motion is from the Water Sewer Department to approve and authorize the town Water Sewer Department to purchase two Lenovo ThinkPad computers for $3,177.98 through the state contract. The laptop computers will be for use in the field to utilize the town's GIS system and to locate water and sewer lines. The purchase will be from the water source 2020 budget. I'll make that motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Um, final motion I have here from again from water sewer to approve and authorize the town water sewer department to purchase 10 replacement Liberty grinder pumps for $11,898. These are replacement grinder pumps needed to take the place of 10 pumps that are broken and no longer serviceable. The purchase will be from Bailey Electric and paid from the water source 2020 budget. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion, motion carried. Uh, let's move on to town board members. Larry Helwig. Uh, just, just one item. I had a resident in the town contact me about getting fiber optic internet to the house. And uh, we had a conference call today with green light fiber optic. I'm here getting some echo. That's somebody's... my cell phone at home is ringing. Okay. So, so green light fiber is a company that does fiber optic to the house. It's, it's, they do 500 megabyte, which is like double or triple the speed that Spectrum can do. And the price that they're doing in the Rochester area right now is about $50 for 500 meg. Uh, you're paying about 59 or $69 a month to Spectrum for 200 meg. Um, right now they're installing in Buffalo and Chictawaga. I'm just gonna list a couple of bullet points from their slide presentation today. Uh, they're not going to be going into the communities that have Verizon Files uh, because Files is a little, they don't want to go in competition with too many people, but they don't have a problem going in the competition with Spectrum. 
Uh, right now, we have about 400 households or residents that have signed into this uh, Greenlight's fiber optic webpage saying that they'd be interested. Uh, 2022 is probably the earliest they could start that infrastructure, seeing as they're in the Buffalo, Chicawaga area now. Uh, and in the Rochester, Monroe County area where they are already installed, uh, Spectrum lowered their prices. So once Spectrum had competition, uh, Spectrum started lowering their prices for internet. So competition is healthy and hopefully we get some more providers. And it sounds like this is a viable provider that we may not see for about a, two or three years, but in a couple of years, maybe we'll have uh, fiber optic instead of you know regular coaxial cable into your house from uh, Time Warner. That's all I have. Something to look out for, Larry. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Gil Lucet. I don't have anything. Thank you, Gil. Bert Doctor. If you haven't had a chance yet to take a ride by Nash and Niagara Falls Boulevard, please take the opportunity to do so. Uh, the Wheatfield Enhancement Volunteers have put up a festive display uh, to be the anchor of a uh, another beautification event all along Niagara Falls Boulevard to build on momentum that we started back on the 4th of July. Uh, we're asking residents and businesses to, to decorate, help put, put a smile on uh, the faces of residents and passerbys on Niagara Falls Boulevard. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to uh, Giuliano and the contacts Rita and Tom, they really spearheaded this effort. And again, if you haven't had a chance to see the rock wall at the corner of Nash and Niagara Falls Boulevard, check it out. It's, it's really beautiful. And, uh, you know, when I passed by, it certainly did uh, help put me into the, the holiday spirit. So we're really excited about that. Uh, the other only other thing is we, we do have a meeting. Uh, it's actually tomorrow. We're going to be doing it by uh, doing it by a Zoom, uh, 6.30 tomorrow for the enhancement volunteer. So anybody interested, let me know. Thank you, Kurt. Uh, Julie and Rita, I see you there. Uh, nice job. Thank you so much for all of your efforts. Uh, greatly appreciated. And, and while I'm yakking, I also noticed the Garden Club uh, did some decorations on the entrance to the town, and uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, nice job. Thanks for your efforts. Uh, greatly appreciated. Okay, we have uh, Randy. I'm all set. Nothing. Okay, uh, and I guess I'm up. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention, uh, I think everybody's aware this time of year, there is a lot of needy families, even in Wheatfield, and I've made contact with Walt Garrow and Bill Ross, if anybody feels in their heart they want to help a family that is in need uh, and hurting, you can contact the uh, Lions Club and they can channel funds to the needy people and needy families. I think it's a great idea. Uh, I'm going to try and take part in it. I'm going to take part in it. Uh, but there's a lot of people right now without work and without food. And, uh, you know, we're very fortunate. And I just encourage anybody that would like to, it's a great resource to be to contact the Lions Club and they can contact you or direct you to a needy family in the town of Wheatfield. So um, that's it. The other thing, Kathy, while you're on there, do we have any dates when the applications have to be in for the positions we posted? Uh, the 21st, December 21st. Okay, thank you. Um, you know, gents, I think after that date, we're going to have to have a work session uh, to discuss appointments and some other things. So um, we'll see what kind of applications come in, but between now and uh, a Christmas, we'll have to have a work session one evening to discuss um, appointments, et cetera. So I hope everybody's good with that. Uh, let me see if I have any other notes. I guess that's it. Our next meeting is December 21st, 2020 at seven o'clock. And uh, I thank you. Anybody else have any, any comments to say on anything we've discussed tonight? Okay, Julie, again, thank you so much. And Rita, I see I can see the bottom of your head, but thank you, Rita, and also to Tom. Uh, can I have a motion to adjourn, please? I'll second your motion. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned. Be safe, be healthy, everyone. We'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs>